Okay, so we all want more leads, we want more customers, we want more subscribers, but I found one cool trick that I wanna share with you today where I've actually grown my YouTube subscribers from 1,400 people to over 75,000 subscribers, but not from where you think. So if you stick with me to the end, I'll show you the secret place I'm getting all these subscribers. All right, let's dive right into it. So I'm gonna draw you up a quick blueprint that shows you exactly how we structure our blog posts to get subscribers and newsletter subscribers from Google. So instead of getting all these subscribers and leads from YouTube, they're actually finding me on Google. Did you know Google owns YouTube? So let's step into it. I'll show you phase one. Okay, so it's actually pretty simple. So you have your blog post here that looks like this and it's gonna go a full layout. So you wanna think of people are gonna be on their phone or on their desktop, but the majority of people will be on their phone. So when you first look at this, the very top is gonna to be your title. And then what we do is we put a newsletter subscribe. So all we ask for is the first name and we ask for the last name, then a nice button to subscribe. And what that will do is it'll allow them to become a newsletter subscriber. So then we can invite them to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the future. And now they've become a lead. Okay, now we got the easy part out of the way. Let's get somebody to subscribe to our newsletter. And more people do this than not, which I didn't expect when I first did this. So the next thing we wanna do is Google Generative AI Search. And this is something new that Google is putting in place where they wanna give someone four simple tips and four answers right away at the top of their search. So why not throw that in the top of your blog? So what I'm gonna do is show you how to give four simple questions and answers so you start showing up at the top of the search engines. All right, so the generative AI is basically question number one. What's a common question that your customers are asking? Put that here and then give them the answer in a short sentence, make it easy. Here's your question, here's your answer. Then you're gonna do this four times. What's a common question they're asking about this blog title? That's really the key. What's the blog title? What are their common questions? Give them an answer. And usually you've got more than four common questions so give them the quick answers, but keep it at four because if they want to see the rest, they can scroll down and read the rest of the blog. Okay, so now we've got our newsletter subscribe. We've got four simple questions and answers for Google. Now let's make it a good user experience and give it a table of contents. Now this is usually best practices, but a lot of people forget to do this. So what I want you to do is make sure you make it easy for somebody to browse through the blog and find the section that they're actually looking for. Google will give you a thumbs up and you'll provide a better reader experience for your audience. So Google wants a good user experience. So they want their users to have a really good user experience and not get lost or overwhelmed when they come to your blog. So what you need is you need a table of contents. And what that is, is basically saying section one, this is what it's about. This is the top, the title. And then you want to basically say my section two, this is my title. So they can easily scroll down the rest of the blog post and they can go to the right title and the right section that they were actually searching for when they came from Google. This is the most important. This is how I grew my subscribers on YouTube and get unlimited leads every week, every month from this strategy. People aren't finding me on YouTube for the things they search. They're finding my YouTube videos on Google search because Google obviously owns YouTube and they're pushing the videos at the top of the search results. So when somebody types something in, they're going to show the four simple questions and answers, and then they're going to show a YouTube video to get them to go to YouTube. That's where I'm getting all my subscribers, and it's easy for you to do. In our marketing machine, we teach to make a YouTube video first and then take that and turn it into the blog post. So now you have a blog and a YouTube video showing at the top of Google. This is the magic YouTube video. So you want to put that YouTube video right here. So this YouTube video needs to be exactly about the topic. So this blog post, I actually make my YouTube video first, use the transcriptions and create the blog post around it. So this video needs to be basically exactly what the blog is. You can even give it the four simple questions and answers and then all the details below. But when you embed the YouTube video in here, it's gonna show up on Google search. So then you're gonna start getting subscribers and newsletter subscribers from YouTube. Last but not least, build relationships. So people read blogs, they watch your video. How can you build a better relationship with them so they don't forget? Because not everyone's always on YouTube. So now I have a new YouTube subscriber, a blog newsletter subscriber, but where am I also the most active at? I'm the most active on Twitter or X. And if you're the most active on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram, this is where you should put it. 
what I do is I post a picture of my, my face and not because I'm trying to show off or anything. It's actually a horrible mugshot, but it's a way for them to click on the link and follow me on Twitter so I can continue providing value and education. So now they're going to get my emails, they're going to see my YouTube videos, and they're going to see my Twitter posts so they never forget. And when they're ready to work with me, they'll always come back and it'll be easy for them to find me. All right, now I get to show my, um, my mug shot here. Big smiley face. Follow me on X. So basically, you what you want to do is build a relationship with somebody that came here. So yeah, they see that you have the right title. They see that you have a newsletter. They see that you're helping them. You're building authority. You build even more authority with this YouTube video explaining everything and you're building relationship with the YouTube video. Last but not least, build an even better relationship with them, showing that you're educating, that you're the expert and you're the authority on one of the social media networks. Make it easy for them to click that link and they're gonna follow you and then they'll never forget about you. All right, so you're ready to launch. You Hopefully you have your blog posts, you've got your YouTube video at the top, publish it. And the last thing you wanna not forget is to index it on Google and Bing. Now we always forget to do this because it's just something we don't think is beneficial, but it actually takes Google and Bing like a month to figure out you have a new YouTube video and blog post. So if you go to Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster and you go index this page, they're not only gonna grab your blog post, but they're gonna see your YouTube video and start sending traffic to it right away. So what are you waiting for? Go make a YouTube video, make a blog about it, put it at the top, and you'll start getting more visitors that turn into more leads and that turn into more customers. That's what we all want anyways. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it brought you a ton of value. If you're interested in getting the full masterclass on this, I'll post a link in the description to the Marketing Machine Masterclass so you can actually copy and paste this for your business.